matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting! Out of Pyongyang, North Korea, introducing the challenger, Mountain. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, without your pain. So the fight is now underway on one side. You have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Nice punch there. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Punch 
Watch his block. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Block that strike. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Oh. Nice kick landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Misses with the right hand. And they separate. Shoy's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Slips to avoid that left. Ooh, what a punch. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. How about that shin? Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Short. And that one certainly found the target. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. The next there with the punch. Punch coming is blocked. Right hand punch the clinch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. Nice strike. Leg kick. Look 
at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big power shot there. Liver Hard kick. shots landing on both sides here. Big punch lands through the middle. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those... That's a hell of a kick right there. He oh, oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! We got to fight, folks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Punch over the top. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh! To the left. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offense. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a oh, huge right hand. Comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags it with the punch. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Back and forth we go. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Powerful leg kick land. Nice straight punch. Body kick now by Chor. Final seconds here of round two. Big knee there. Oh, straight right. What a fight so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
exactly what we did. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Beautiful strike. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. the shot. Just missed with the left there. He got the turtle in that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to double up on that jab. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little move. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, an obvious limp there. Hurt for certain. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Slips the punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Joy going for the body. Missed with that kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very oh. close. Oh, he snaps his head back with that offering, DC. He is What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Back mount now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under one minute remains in round three. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I... Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an armbar. Armbar has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Man, 
looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh! What a fight so far! All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Not tapping out tonight. Block there. DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This 